All right, good Wednesday evening, everyone. Let's do weather for Weather Geeks this evening. Hope you were able to tune in to the news at 6 o'clock. We debuted some fancy new graphics this evening, a whole new look to our newscasts here at WFMJ. I really like it. I think it's really fresh and, and snappy and uh, quite a nice change for us. Uh, and uh, that, of course, applies to our weather graphics as well. Uh, some new banners, some new logos, uh, things, a yeah, fresh coat of paint on things, if you will. We could use a fresh coat of paint in this room, but, well, that's for another day, I guess. All right, let's get to it this evening. Uh, today is, of course, February the 1st, the start of the final month of meteorological winter, December, January, and February. Our averages, of course, do go up this month. Uh, our average high on this date is about 35, or 34, I should say. Uh, by the middle of the month, it's up to 36, and, hey, we're making some progress by the 28th of February. Our average high has climbed to 40 by the end of the month. So some things to look forward to there in the uh, temperature department. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, I've been talking about this for a lot of the winter season, actually, uh, the snow statistics. Now, this is a little deceiving, of course, if you live in Mahoning or Columbiana counties. You have not had 41.6 inches worth of snow in a lot of places, but officially at the airport, that's what we've gotten. Most of that came in December. We had uh, over 20 inches worth of snow in December. We had about 13 in January. And I think there was five or six in November. Uh, and so we're above average for the season and way above where we were last year. Over three times the amount of snow that we had through February 1st last season. So if you thought this year was snow-free, remember last year. It was a snow desert around here. All right, we've been uh, having to make some adjustments to our February forecast over the last week as the modeling has come into very good agreement on what should be another mild month. Now, that doesn't mean every day is mild. There's going to be some cold snaps. We've got one coming tomorrow. We've got another one coming at the end of next week. But overall, February as a whole should be another warmer than average month. Uh, amazing string of weather we're in here in our part of the country, really. We had a, a somewhat chillier than average December. But 2016, aside from April, uh, it was warmer than average just about every month, except for April and, and December. December broke that streak. But uh, this will be yet another above-average month, or warmer-than-average month, I should say. That's the way it looks right now, anyway. So that's our official forecast as of today. All right, some things to look forward to if you have the winter blues. Uh, by the end of this week, or early next week, I should say, solar spring. Well, what's that? that well, that's the start of the three-month period in which we're gaining daylight at the most rapid pace. That starts in early February, continues through early May. On the 17th, the sunset hits 6 o'clock. On the 27th, sunrise at 7 a.m. Of course, meteorological spring begins March 1st and daylight saving time, March 12th. That means all of a sudden the sunsets are out towards oh, about 7.30, 7.45 when we switch the clocks. And astronomical spring begins on March the 20th this year. So some things to look forward to there. All right, in the meantime, pretty wintry pattern for the next couple of days. We've got an Arctic front heading our way, and when I recorded... Weather geeks this evening at about 725. A couple of snowflakes trying to show up on Storm Tracker 21, uh, especially in Portage County. Got a few more scattered snow showers off to the north and west. Uh, this is going to come and go from time to time tonight into tomorrow morning. I don't think it's going to add up to much. And I mentioned this is an Arctic cold front heading our way. Look at the temperatures on the other side. Uh, 15 in Minneapolis, 20 in Dubuque, and 26 in Milwaukee. And look at the wind chills this evening. Close to zero in Minneapolis. Eight below in Fargo, and the wind chills are dropping in Milwaukee and Chicago as well. Let's guide you through the next uh, 24 hours here. We'll drop down into the mid-20s uh, tonight. Uh, some snowflakes around when we go on the air again tonight at 11. Tomorrow morning, maybe another snow shower or two around, and while this won't add up to much, you're going to have to watch for the uh, few isolated slick spots in the morning. A little dusting of snow here and there could lead to some isolated slick spots. But other than just a dusting or so, not really expecting much accumulation. Temperatures won't move much tomorrow, only rising a few degrees. Uh, 26, 27 if we're lucky. That's despite getting some afternoon sunshine for your uh, Thursday. And then as we go into Thursday night, uh, might see a couple of snowflakes trying to return into Friday morning, especially in the northern viewing area. Wind chills tonight, dropping into the mid-teens by daybreak tomorrow, and then staying in the teens all day tomorrow. So you'll need the winter jacket tomorrow. It's going to be a scarfs and... In gloves and winter jacket kind of a day. And Friday morning, even colder. Wind chills Friday morning, single digits. Air temperatures in the lower teens Friday morning. Not enough for school adjustments, but certainly the coldest weather we've had in a while here around northeast Ohio 
and Western PA. It's been since that first cold snap early in January since we've had weather like this. Real quickly before we talk about the weekend, uh, some other statistics. Uh, you know, zoom in on this if, or make this full screen if you can to make it a little easier to read. But I did compile the uh, stats for December and January to see how the first two months of meteorological winter compared to January or December and January in previous seasons were about three degrees colder than uh, last year through the first two months of winter. Uh, warmer than the, the cold winters we had before that, but this year's actually been colder than the winter of 2012 into 13 and 2011 into 12. So we're kind of in, in the middle. We're not as cold as we were a couple of years ago, but uh, we're, we're uh, looking a little bit uh, looking uh, a little bit milder, <laughs> I should say, compared to a couple of years ago, but not quite as mild as those winters back in uh, 2011 into 12, 2012 into 13 as well. If I can if I can talk this evening, that would be a bonus. <laughs> it's been been a long busy day here. Uh Saturday looks like a sunny day. Let's talk about Super Bowl Sunday. I think this is going to be kind of an open wave of low pressure that pushes through and I think it's going to snow Sunday. Much more than an inch or two, I doubt it. I, I think that's the max that we can probably squeeze out of this. In fact, there might be some raindrops Sunday afternoon. Models are then showing a pretty intense area of low pressure trying to form somewhere across the Great Lakes middle of next week. And while it will warm up and turn windy, it's going to rain. And then at some point, the rain's going to change back to snow with another strong cold front. This is the GFS model. A lot of different model ideas next week. Uh, don't uh, take this as gospel. Wednesday afternoon, though, according to the GFS, rain would change back to snow. It's going to be a roller coaster ride. Notice how cold it gets in the next couple of days. Our highs by Friday only around 22. Back into the 40s, though, for a day or two early next week. I had to take our high temperature forecast down for next Tuesday. If you remember yesterday, I had a 54 out for Tuesday, but modeling is saying uh, not so fast now. So, well, it'll still be above average. We're talking 40s instead of 50s. And then that strong cold front comes through, and look at that. We're back in the 20s for highs for a couple of days at the end of next week. So it's a real up-and-down pattern for the next week or so. As we get beyond the 10th, that's when I think the, the mid-February blowtorch really starts setting in. And I think mid-February and possibly a lot of late February uh, are, is looking warm. No, it's not going to be in the 80s. It's February. But when I say warm, I mean warmer than average by a fair margin at times, I would say. So we're not looking at a, a lot of cold air in February, uh, little chunks here and there that drop the temperatures for a day or two. Now, that doesn't mean we won't get a, se a seasonable amount of snow in February. You can have snow in these mild patterns when you get the clash of the air masses tends to melt pretty quickly because of the nature of the pattern being warm, but you can still get snow. Uh, and even though January was six degrees above average, we were only about three inches, four inches below average in terms of snow. So you can get snow, you can get uh, wintry weather, even if it's a mild pattern overall. But uh, that is the way that February is looking to shape up. And uh, we'll do a forecast for meteorological spring probably a month from right now. We'll talk about uh, the planting uh, season and if you can get your garden in early this year and all sorts of spring uh, topics like that in about a month. All right, I've rambled long enough. Thanks for sticking with me on Weather for Weather Geeks tonight. Check out our forecast and our brand new graphics.